the you. Yeah, you. You. Right there. I'm beyond insanely excited. I mean, I'm excited every time I make a video, but dude, the twins, the nerfed twins are in front of us right now. So when we're going over the patch notes, right? I remember I was like, damn, I'm looking, this at, I'm looking at this on like paper. I'm just like, dude, the twins are fucking dead in casuals. <laughs> like nobody's going to play them. But after doing a few warm up matches with this character, dude, this nerf. So if you're facing, I feel like this nerf is going to be a little bit more noticeable when you're facing really coordinated survivors, which is insanely rare. Uh, unless you're in like a tournament setting insanely rare in dead by daylight but this nerf all it did was make you use victor a little bit more but victor's on a five second cooldown when he gets destroyed so when he gets destroyed you're just gonna take victor out again and fucking hump the fuck out of people's necks this nerf is so i overreacted on this nerf because after playing it it's so Twins is still fucking godlike. That's all I gotta say. Twins or Victor. I don't know what the fuck. I don't even know what's going on in that brain right now. He has a baseball face, baseball head. All I know is Victy hungry. But he's not hungry for some goddamn breast milk. This dude wants some flesh and some dope ass plays. So not only are we gonna have to hit the fucking best snipes or snipe lunges in existence, we're gonna have to feed this goddamn goblin baby. And I'm excited. He's ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna get into the perks. Alrighty, guys. Now, this is what we're rocking with. And I spilled for nice twins. That's... Honestly, dude, this character still absolutely fucking shreds. So, if you're not playing this character right now, I mean... You know, it depends on if you play for hooks. If you play for hooks, it's gonna be a little tougher, but... This character... Should not be slept on. After this nerf. Our first perk... Corrupt Intervention Gonna slow down in the early game and allows to build early game momentum and you guys already know if you build early game momentum with twins if We're able to get three injures with corrupt intervention still this game is fucking absolutely a done deal It's like a sealed you put in a little plastic baggie the game is done So any sort of momentum we build with twins as a step to victory and dude this character this character is absolutely fucking ridiculous this character is so good i can't even like this character is so good that like i don't even want to play this character because of how good she is even after this nerf i still want to fucking i don't even uh, i can't make a baby joke because i just can't fucking think of it. his head looks like a fucking i think you heard me say something i'm just not going to continue that anyways our next perk pop goes the weasel gonna be our guaranteed regression tool for this game because pop goes always pretty much the only regression tool that uh that we need and paired up with our next perk pretty much gonna guarantee that we can just afk while gens regress without having to worry about hex rune gets destroyed or getting destroyed and since we're playing the twins and her fucking specialty is the fucking slug specialty we're gonna be able to get hooks like it's fucking absolutely nothing and if we're making clutch ass reads clutch ass mind games and clutch ass fucking thick ass fucking baby leaps goblin leaps Pop Goes the Weasel is going to come in insanely clutch. I mean, Pop Goes the Weasel already in one to two gen standoffs is insanely clutch, but with twins, Pop Goes the Weasel is going to be even more clutch. Then our next perk, Oppression. You guys already know what this is, so pretty much going to allow us to AFK the entire match. So once we hit one gen with Pop, so let's say we get it down, Pop Goes the Weasel that gen. Oppression pops, which regresses all the other gens that aren't being worked on and if they are being worked on it's going to give us vision and information to give us uh, an idea of what gen they're working on and give them an insanely hard skill check but if we're facing decent survivors they're probably going to hit that skill check but nonetheless gonna be it's just going to be saving us a fuck ton of time to be honest to get that instant regression without having to use like ruin for like only like two minutes so oppression gonna regen all the other uh, regen regen what the fuck am i saying then i'll add on so i kind of don't want to because my brain hurts. Madeline's glove. Moderately increases the radius of Victor's shrieks, which is pretty much Victor's tear radius. So it's gonna increase Victor's tear radius. I don't know by how much, to be honest, but by a little bit. So it'll give us uh, a notification when somebody gets closer to Victor. So then we'll be able to quickly injure them, and then if they decide to run around with the baby on their like hump in the back of their head, then um. 
it's weird, right? Because if they do that, they're not really working on gens. They're just wasting time. So by the time, while they're doing that, I'll be able to get into another chase. But Victor's Shrieks or Madeline's Glove, pretty much going to guarantee that we can guarantee that we can get a hit without having to insta go really fast and then end up it getting destroyed by the time we're able to transfer to the to victor so yeah and then our next add-on forest stew and that shit looks fucking nasty moderately increases victor's movement speed which is gonna make him a fast ass little goblin baby and we're gonna be fucking biting the shit out of people's kneecaps then our offering faint Reagent slightly thickens the dark mist. All right, Charlotte, Charlotte Victor. I'm happy to see you guys again. That baby looks absolutely fucking adorable. I want to, I want to kiss. Look at his big ass head. He looks, he has like a fucking like baseball head. He look, she, he's looking at her like, what the fuck did he just say to me? Anyways, you guys, I know, I apologize. I know you guys ready. You guys got nerfed. Can you guys pay attention to me? You guys got nerfed. Thank you. But I didn't know what the fuck was that Twitch, but it didn't really do anything to you guys. And I'm surprised because when you look at that shit on paper, it looks like you guys got fucking absolutely demolished with a nerf hammer. But just because it's easier to destroy Victor's corpse. I think he's really mad that I just said that. I'm gonna shut up. You're ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna shut up. We're gonna get into this shit. Batem Preschool number five. Springwood. I actually just I actually just hate this fucking map with a passion. I actually want to fucking like break my fucking like nose in half just because of how much I hate this map. Placing turret. Oop. What's a really good spot for this guy? I'll put him right here. Put him in the open so they can think they can destroy him uh free cast and just destroy his ass, and then I'll be able to get the hit. Alright, if I had to guess, these guys probably had spawned right behind the school, right? Either on my left or behind the school. There's no way. Let's do this. Hello, hello! Saw you, bitch ass. Oh. Alright, gun. Nope. And I know this guy's right here, too. You win. No, he all ass. Went downstairs. Oh, hello? No, you didn't. Oh, gotcha! Hello! Hey, male flesh! You look like a fat ass, thick ass piece of mail. Oh, she didn't even fall for it either. Interesting. Oh, you're dead. Wait, why did she drop that? Did you preemptively drop that? Did she panic? Get up, male flesh. I'm not fucking mailing your ass today. That fucking 50 cents. I could probably buy like a Tootsie Roll with that. Get him up and pay the price of death. Break the shit. Oop. Oop. I'm actually surprised she didn't drop that pallet. Did this thing. We're actually at a fucking bomb ass start right now. Victor! Go fetch. Alright, so if I had to guess, this chick is probably healing you. But I was mad. Hello, hello, drop it. Hello, 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 and I got that movement speed, so I'll be able to reposition myself a little bit. And then we're gonna go back. I, mm, actually, what I could do is I can just immediately run back, but I feel like if somebody's coming for this chick, hit this guy with Victor, and then since my regular body here, so wait, nobody's coming. Where the fuck are these guys? Uh, hello? Are you guys gonna get your teammate? Yeah, I'm just gonna place it right here. Place it right here, and then what the fuck? Hello? Go back. I was about to say, where are these guys? Hello, 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 hello. Oh, double heal. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, bro, time. Damn it. Yeah, that barrel time actually fucking put in work right there. I did not want to go for that chick either. That's actually really, really unfortunate. Mm. You're waiting for me right here, aren't you? Hello, 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 hello. Did she get that? What the fuck? Moving around like a goddamn, uh, like a snake. Victor! Go feed. Cross map? I'll take that. Go back to this chick. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna go back to this chick because I wanna hook this chick because she's been slugged for way too long. Because I know somebody else is going back for this chick. I said this chick like six times. Where is this chick? There you are. Okay. Place you right here. UAV on mod. If they're gonna go for the heal, that means they're probably gonna come back. So if they're gonna have to reposition themselves, I'll be able to put this chick on a hook and then pop goes to weasel this gen and then regress all the other gens and waste all their time. Somebody's behind me too. I hear you breathing like a goddamn mammal. Like a mammal? That made no sense. Get him up and pay the price of death. Hello. Hi, how are you? You are not going for the unhook. Oop. Mm. Nah, she's calling us. 
Let that check go. Pop goes and weasel this chest. Actually, I don't even think I need to use Victor here. I kind of want to reposition Victor because I don't like the spot Victor's in right now. Never mind. Reposition on the way. Oh, Victor. That's a fucking tree, man. Hello! No, I'm not going to be able to. I want to try to cross map these guys. Ah. Okay. Okay, fuck you. You stayed there! <laughs> I tried to make it seem like I was going AFK, but she didn't fall for it at all. Alright, male flush. I'm coming, I'm coming. Give me like 20 minutes and I'll be able to get there just in time for you. Fucking amazing. What the tits? Did you kill my baby? Pick the chick up. Get up, male flush. And then I'll be able to call Victor. God, this character is fucking good as shit. Get him up and pay the price of death. I feel like I don't even have to work hard to make this character work insanely well. <laughs> I feel like, unless you face like a full mess of our friends, it's gonna be insanely difficult to beat this character. Let's see, who do I want to injure today? Somebody needs to get bit and humped. You with me? Hello. Oh my god, two upstairs. I'm gonna see if they'll uh, try to kill Victor. One jump down. Oh my god, look at that vision, man. That's crazy. I don't even have to work. You did not go in that locker. Time I'm hitting the gym. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Bro, Victor is UAV. Go Spitznaz. Oh, he's gonna body block me, though. He's probably gonna destroy Victor, but I'll be able to get instantly into another chase because these guys are fucking like. It's so difficult to face this character. No! My baby! You son of a bitch! Somebody's on my right as well. Or is that just this chick? Fuck it. Victor, it's your time! Oh my god, the amount of in brutality we're gonna get. Shoot. Uh oh! That is a fucking fence. Damn, that chick waited on her dead heart. That was actually like really, really clever. I'm gonna go for you. Alright, what am I gonna call you? Flower Flesh? No, that's so whack. I don't wanna give you a whack ass name. Oh, there's no window here. Even... Ooh! Hold on, I'm not breaking any doors right here. Oh, this chick fucked up. Level. Give me your soul! God, this is a, a walk in the park. Like, I'm walking up. I'm in the park right now, walking nothing. I'm just walking. No dog, no animal, no mammal, no sea urchin, no nothing. Get him up and pay the price of death. Alright. At least I can hook that chick a little bit more. What gen did they just finish? Finish this gen over here, right? Who is healing and who is not healing? Because whoever is healing needs to die. Hold up. Get out of my way. I'm a baby. <laughs> Cannot believe that big. No, still not here. No, 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 no. I got time. Shh. Hello. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Oh. She didn't kick me. There we go. What was that? Does Victor have aim assist? Where's the chick at? You. Oh, that's not good. You dead. Thank God I hit you. I did not want to hit that chick. Not that much of a despicable creature. Get up, Ling Ling. Mm, is this chick dead? I think this chick is dead, right? Get him up and pay the price of death. She dead. Oh, you have head on. Oh. That's right. I don't want to tunnel this guy anyway, so I'm going to go back to the school because I think this game is pretty much already over. So I think it's about time we just fuck around with Victor, to be honest. Victor, get your ass back here. What are you doing? God, this guy thinks... I fucking told him to buy ice cream. He thinks he can go... 50 cents. What? Oh. I was so confused. I was like, wait, is this guy fucking like... I don't even know. <sighs> Male flesh. This game's over! Alright, Victor. Afuera! Go! Go! Be free! Let's see if we can find these guys. I want to hit fucking like the sickest lunge possible. Hello? Lunge? Hello, hello, hello. Hi! Oh, uh, 360? Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Okay. Fuck. Oh, I'm trolling. One more time. Wait, I have an idea. What if I go all the way back here? Oh! <laughs> was that calculated or was that not calculated? Hello? I'm Victor. What is your name? It does not matter what your name is. Oh wait, tits, fuck tits. No, no, no. I'm the trash. Right, 
Gotta move around like a fucking goddamn... Cater goddamn caterpillar. Yeah, this game's over. UAV on lawn. There we go. That cooldown feels so weird, but I feel like the mobility makes you makes it seem like you actually have a chance to somewhat escape. But that five seconds pretty much guarantees that they can destroy Victor anyways. Bro, this is the most chill match I've probably ever had all day today. Because usually when I um when I do warm up matches, uh, I know you probably don't have a break. Well, just in case this chick does, I'm gonna pick this chick up. All right, get a, I didn't even a fruit basket flesh. You fucking outfit makes it look like a fucking like fruit basket. I, I don't even remember what I was gonna say because of how fucking fast this match was. Get him up and pay the price of death, fruit basket flesh. Like the shit. Yeah, so usually when I do warm up matches, the first character I play is Trickster because that is the most difficult character to fucking play, especially in a, against high MMR survivors. So, like, yeah, I tortured myself when I first got on this game, but that literally prepares, prepared me for everything, to be honest. If you play Trickster for warm up matches and your matches end up being cancer, play another killer and you will fucking be insanely su uh, successful because of how fucking tortured you were playing Trickster. I mean, that's, that's how I look at it, but I don't know if you want to torture yourself. But holy fuck, this match was chill, man. Oof, oof. God, this is a ruthless. There's no way we're going to mercy for this match. You're ruthless killer! Got it. I didn't even have to lose my voice for this fucking video, either. I did not expect... Yo, wait till we play Tomorrow's Killer. Shit is about to get insanely real because of how fucking difficult that character is to pull off at, uh, against high MMR survivors. And we're close to Merciless, too. Are we too close to hooks? Yeah, we're too close to hooks. That's... That's shitty. Was everybody using Burl Time? Burl Time. So, two Burl Times. No Decisive? I mean, I wasn't gonna... I wasn't gonna tunnel anyways. One Adrenaline. Yeah, nothing too crazy. One will make it. If they had maybe like two or three will make it against the Twins. Like, that's the problem with the Twins. If you don't know you're facing against the Twins, and you're not running will make it, and especially if they're running Sloppy Butcher, it's gonna be an absolute fucking nightmare. Like, this character... It's so, it's so good. He, she, the twins is insanely good, but like, if you're trying to get hooks, she's a little bit more difficult to pull off since uh, her power revolves around slugging. But goddamn, dude, twins! That nerf was literally like, I love this character. <sighs> you go destroyed, and you failed. We'll get him next time. Alrighty guys, before I end this video, I kind of want to talk about what I'm going to be doing in future videos and different games that I'm probably going to be uh, trying to play. Seeing how that goes, if it goes well, then like, I'll do it a little bit more, but I do want to try uh, venturing off into other games. Because I know sometimes maybe some people can uh, get tired of Dead by Day loot, or they just want to see me play other games, which is, I mean, I want to try to... Um, just try to venture into other games on my channel and give my channel a little bit more variety. As much as I know you guys probably love the, the Dead by Daylight con uh, content, I kind of want to give you guys more to look forward to, you know? Like, as a content creator, I want to be able to create as much content as I can, especially for you guys. And I feel like if I play different games other than just, like, Dead by Daylight, I feel like that would... That'd be a little bit more interesting for you guys and a little bit more entertaining, too, because then you guys can, uh see the different games that you know i'm actually somewhat decent at but nonetheless i think in a few days i'm gonna try because one of you guys asked me to make a smite video and as you guys know i've been playing smite or you guys probably don't know i've been playing smite for almost seven years six years so my knowledge on smite is insanely fucking through the roof because i've been playing it for so long but Definitely be on the lookout for that, because I'm going to try to, uh, I don't know how I'm going to make the Smite video, but I'm excited because I've never, never thought in a million years that I would make a Smite video, but one of you guys requested it, and I've been thinking about it like a ton, and I'm insanely looking forward to that. But nonetheless, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye, and good night.